Harry Danning, you played with the New York Giants for 10 seasons. The last one was 1942. Now, where have you been since then? Well, I spent a little time in Los Angeles, a little time in good old New York, and the last three years I've been in San Francisco. And what are you doing now? I'm in the insurance business now, have been, like it very much. Uh, Harry Danning, have you grown away from baseball? No, I'm still a fan. I read the papers. I try and see a game every time I get a chance, and I'm very, very deeply interested in baseball and always will be. You were a great catcher, and the catcher, of course, is the captain on the field in reality. Now, can you watch a game today objectively, or are you still masterminding? No, it's, it's, it's kind of hard for me. I still try to do a little bit of masterminding, and every once in a while I catch myself trying to run out in front, in front of home plate and throw the man out at first base. But someday I hope to be able to watch the game as a real fan. Would you like to get back in baseball in some capacity? I don't think so. I would. Uh, the only capacity I would like to get into is someday if I find some young ball players around to try and help them along to a good career in baseball. That I would love. But I don't think I would be interested in being connected with any baseball team. They called you Harry the Horse. Did you mind that? No, I thought it was quite a compliment to me and I enjoyed the nickname for many, many years and I just hope all the people have a little kind thought once in a while for old Harry the horse. Oh, they have many kind thoughts all over the face of the baseball map. Harry, in a player-manager relationship, what does a player expect from a manager? Help. He expects a little help when the going gets tough for him to help him along over the rough spots and know, know, know a player all about him, his personal life and so forth, and, and just to really help him. This is when you say the rough spots, Harry, do you mean, for example, when a player uh, doesn't hit, helping him that way? Or, or how do you mean and how can a manager actually help? When a person goes, when a fellow gets into a slump in hitting or in feeling or in throwing, a manager can help him. And if he has a little trouble on the outside, I firmly believe that a manager can get a hold of him and straighten out his personal life and so make it a little bit easier for him on the ball field because a person's personal life does affect the way he plays ball or in that in fact, anything that he does in this world. How would you describe Bill Terry, who was your manager for nine years? In my opinion, I've always held Bill in the highest regard. I consider him one of the greatest managers that ever managed the baseball, and I really think it was baseball's loss that he never continued on. Harry Danning, thanks so much for talking with us. This is Cliff Evans reporting. Now back to Monitor at Radio Central.